to this module as we break down the flow from a home selling consultation. job in the door um, to processing it and then actually fulfillment. Um, so it's so important that as a business owner, you know step by step what a client will go through when they work with you. Not only should you know it in case steps uh, become forgotten, but when you start training up a team, they can understand it as well. Everything in our head can't just flow out into someone. We have to get it on paper. We actually have a great resource here for you um, to be able to refer back to and customize this for your business so that you can easily teach someone how the process works. So I would recommend that you look and see how leads come into your business. For us here at Model My Home, maybe the phone rings and someone wants to place an order, so to speak. Um, they also can go to our website and they can fill out a form and that's a lead for us that we want to close as well. When we think about home selling consultations and the services that we're providing here, um, that is typically for your occupied homes. Now there are certain cases where you may want to do a consultation on a vacant property. Maybe it is uh, you know, 10 plus years old, it needs updated somewhere. We need to recommend some paint colors, some lighting changes, and then we stage. Um, so that would be a recommendation. If you get the calls from uh, those, those vacant properties and any home that is, we say 10 years plus, really needs to be updated um, somewhere, somehow. So you may want to get eyes on that property beforehand and give them a report, um, but most likely it is your occupied properties and it is for those sellers for you either to assess the property and uh, give them an action list and then hopefully come back and stage it after the fact. So know where your leads are coming. Uh, that, that may be three different, um, different bullet points or five different bullet points. For us, it's the two main areas they're going to either call us or they're going to go to our website. They're typically not going to walk in the front door, although we've had that before. Um, so what happens next, right? Well, we want to gather the information about the property, ask those key questions. You should have a seller's interview or a seller's questionnaire, which is a form that you fill out that's going to give you all the information you need to be able to prepare a quote and direct them to the right service. Um, we love to think of this as someone ordering food, ordering coffee. You've got that order taker and they're going to ask, you know, what would you like from the list on the, the menu? And then you take that order and then you pass it on to someone who's going to fulfill that order um, as well. So we're taking the order and then what we want to do is of course um, repeat the order and get the agreement. So we're going to send an agreement, we're going to send them a, a pre-staging checklist um, if it pertains. In a consultation they may not need to do anything um, but on your standard operating procedures you need to think do I want that home prepared in a certain way before I go and look at it or one of my stagers looks at it and we want to get payment um, all secured. So sometimes people are paying 100% um, up front. Sometimes with a consultation, the agent is paying for it. So you need to understand 
who will be taking care of this service, taking care of payment for this. Um, they need to understand the fees, whatever your fees are. If it is an initial fee and then extra hours are on top of that, they need to understand all of the fee structure and get that agreement, get signature. Then what we want to do is move it through the pipeline to um, schedule the stagers, right? We need to schedule the day that that's going to happen, schedule the stagers, and um, then we're going to confirm with the seller. We don't want our stagers driving 30 minutes to a consultation and no one's home. Um, so we want to make sure that we're doing like a 24-hour advance um, notice of a schedule, just confirming almost like a cable company is going to call and uh, give you that notification. And if we need to reschedule, we can, but we're going to do that 24 advance and then the consultation is performed. This is where you um, have a timeout and your stagers know exactly what uh, they're taking on this consultation, whether it's flyers, business cards, an iPad with um, previous homes that you staged, because the idea is to turn this consultation into another service so that you can help be a problem solver to this client. We hope you've enjoyed this featured module. To gain access to the full resource and over 150 modules just like this, click the link below.